Just before we get started, uh, let me uh, introduce uh, the judges for tonight's game. Actually, all the games tonight, we have spared no expense to bring in some of the finest uh, officials of the Lenang games. Uh, these folks are highly trained. Some of them haven't even played the game before, but that doesn't bother. Uh, we have uh, Sajaira Rao. Stand up, Sajaira. Stand up. Let's hear it for you. Sajaya is from Oregon State. Uh, she actually uh, participated in a Linnaean Games uh, contest years ago, and she had antagonized me as the moderator so often she was actually banned for 10 years from being associated with the game. So that, uh, but uh, we're giving her her chance. You know, we are we are forgiving. So uh, Sajaya, thanks for helping out. It's That's because I called him Tommy Turpin. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bands again. All right. And, uh, and on the other end, anchoring the, the judges will be Susan Weller. Let's hear it for Susan Weller. <laughs> Susan's a professor of etymology uh, at, at, up there at the University of Minnesota. And it's got, they got a foot of snow on the ground already, and so she came to the to the, uh, the humid and uh, warm south here in Indianapolis. Uh, uh, Susan is, I don't know, one of those taxonomy types and talking about tiger moths and all those sorts of things. You see, we've had a, we've had a problem with the judges in the past because uh, it turns out our third judge is a guy uh, by the name of uh, Jay McPherson. Uh, Jay is uh, in the middle here. We've got him surrounded by two lovely ladies who have been told if he gets out of line to beat the tar out of him. So uh, Jay, uh, Jay has done this for, for years. And, and in fact, uh, uh, I don't remember when he first started, but he had a big full head of hair in those days. And, uh, and now that he's had to judge these things, you see, in fact, we can't even let him be in a photo any longer because the, uh, the reflection off of that is uh, unbelievable. But, uh, uh, Jay claims he knows a lot about bugs, so that was good enough for us. So we have him as one of the judges. Now, please, let's have a round of applause for the judges. Uh, I'll uh, do the rules real quickly. It is appropriate to uh, hiss and boo uh, if you want, uh, but please, please direct that towards the judges and not towards the team. Uh, we will, in fact, uh, encourage... Uh, you to applaud for your favorite team, but please don't shout out the answers. I've done this for a number of years, and I have discovered that answers from the audience have about a 90% probability of being incorrect. So uh, if you shout those answers out, you may uh, lead these people into some wrong answers up here. But do applaud for your team, uh, and uh, shout whatever you want to do. So uh, are we ready to go? All right, before we get started, though, <coughs> rules. You've gone over those before. Remember, this is a series of 16 toss-up questions. The toss-up question will be read. The team members will have uh, five seconds to answer that question. They have to signal their intent to answer by hitting the uh, light, and we'll hear a buzzer. They will then have five seconds like that, and then the and then we sort of shut him off over there. Uh, and basically, then they'll have five seconds after they have been recognized. So it's important always to wait for me to mispronounce your name. And if you don't recognize it, I'll try to look at you, and so you'll know that I am trying to talk about uh, you. And then you will actually proceed to answer. Uh, once we have the answer, we will either declare that a correct answer or an incorrect one. If it's an incorrect one, it will be turned over to the opposing team. They will have five seconds to answer. And again, if there is a correct answer, that will be worth ten points. And the team that answers correctly will have an opportunity at a bonus question. The bonus questions are really team questions. The teams uh, will have 10 seconds to consult on their answer, and then a designated member of the team will be asked to provide the best yes to that particular answer. Again, if there's a correct answer, it's worth 10 points, and we proceed. The first, uh, the team at the end that has the highest number of points will be declared the winner. If by chance there's a tie at the end, we will go into sudden death, and the first correct answer wins the game. Now, there is an exception. If you interrupt on the reading of a question, and you answer incorrectly, you are penalized five points. I will try to uh, announce that that was on an interruption to the question, and in which case an incorrect answer will 
result in a five uh, point discount or minus five, the question will be reread re in its entirety for the opposing team following such a blunder. <laughs> Everybody agrees with that, right? So, uh, okay, generally that, those are the rules. Now let's introduce the team's rules. Championship. Here we go. In 1688, Malpighi published anatomical studies of an insect that is said to be an inspiration for later work in insect anatomy. What is the common name of the insect on which Malpighi did his anatomical study? Mitchell. Silkworm? It's correct. Uh, yes, it was on the silkworm, and I'll give you that for a bonus question. There are a few genera of ants that have a specialized cast of repletes, workers that store honey in an abnormally distended abdomen. Name one of the two subfamilies of ants where repletes can be found. <laughs> May I have your answer, Shree? Panarity. I, I didn't want to write. Spell it. P O N E R I N A E. That is incorrect. <laughs> Audience, do you know? Don't go on unless you know the answer. What are they, Jay? Formicine and the doubt of the line. Yeah. Did you know that ant woman should have been up here, right? All right, toss up question number two. Mosquitoes feed on blood or on nectar, but the liquids are routed to different structures in the digestive system. I'm sorry. Of the digestive system. Name the structure to which each liquid is routed. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, sugars are routed to the crop and uh, blood is routed to the midgut. That is correct. That's the correct answer. An opportunity then for a bonus question for you to see the other side. ESA awards two prizes for outstanding achievement in education. Who is eligible for these awards and what is the difference between the two awards? May I have your answer, please? Thank you. Uh, there's an award for college education, university level, and then there's an award for K through 12 education. <laughs> that is incorrect. They are the the people eligible for that are school teachers, but it is high school and and grade school.